Ragnarok54 here, and welcome to my guide on how to use flipping friends chats. I decided to make this video just because there's just um, too many people in these friends chats that don't have a clue what they're doing, and there's also a lot of people that don't even know what a flipping friends chat is. So during this video, I'm going to be putting in a little of my own input from maybe my personal experiences or stuff that I've learned over the time that I've used these friends chats. So please feel free to disregard any of this information. It's just um, little notes from me. <clears throat> if you've never flipped before, I really don't suggest that you don't watch this video because you kind of need a little bit of experience or a lot, or maybe even a lot of experience before using these flipping French chats. So if you want to see a guide on how to flip made by me, uh, you can click on the screen right now. It's just a f simple little flipping. That's why it's called Flipping 101. So watch that if you've never flipped before. So first you need to know what a flipping French chat is. It's a French chat, or FC is what a lot of people call it, um, where you can get the prices for items that have small grand exchange limits. So if you, if you flipped um, quite a bit, you'll know about f the item limit. So you can only buy a certain amount of an item every four hours. So, like, for example, you could buy 25,000 air runes every four hours. So, these French chats are for items that have small limits, such as maybe one or two, and items that are um, unflippable by conventional methods because of their small limits. So, before I tell you all about these French chats, you're going to need to know what they're talking about when they say things. So, if they say N-I-S, that means non-instant sell. If they say NIB, that's non instant buy. And the opposite of that, NIS is instant sell and NIB is instant buy. They use these a lot to report prices, and maybe if you're flipping and you instant buy something or you non instant buy or instant sell or non instant sell, you may want to report that by saying NIS, whatever item, for whatever price, or if you instant sold it or whatever. All right, now for the different French chats. The first one is PC101. That's PC space 101, and then enter. You should be able to get into this on your first try, but if you don't, it'll say French chat is full, and just try it again, and you'll eventually get in. So this was the first French chat I ever used. It was called something different at the time, but it's the same essential French chat. And like me, a lot of people will use this as their first French chat because flipping a French chat just because maybe they hear the name somewhere or a friend tells them about it and they just go to it thinking that it's like the holy grail for flipping but in reality it's not and a lot of there's this this French chat um, houses the majority of the people who have no idea what they're doing so if you're going to be flipping here just watch out for that and don't be don't add to that um, number of people who don't know what they're doing so all of the French chats have a page on the official RuneScape forums. You can find all of these links in the description. They are legit links. If you don't want to follow those links, just go to the RuneScape homepage, then go to forums, scroll all the way down to item discussion, and then you will find their pages. It's a thread in item discussion, just if you don't want to trust the links for some reason. So just go to that link in the description when you're going to that French chat and read the rules. It'll have all the rules on there in case I miss something. And so you'll be sure not to be kicked or people won't think you're an idiot cause, or call you mean names because that's never fun. And you'll just know what to ask for and what to do and you'll know what you're doing. They also have all of the items that they price check on the forums. So Nothing anno annoys um, someone in the French chat more than someone asking for a price check of an item that this doesn't, um, that the French chat does not price check. So when someone comes comes in here and asks for like a dragon plate body price check, everyone is just face palming to the maximum. So on the forums, it shows what items they price check. PC 101 in particular um, pr price checks the majority of God Wars items with small limits, but and then don't just think, oh, now I'm just going to ask for all the God Wars items, items because there's some that they don't, and there's also some 
items that are non God God Wars dungeon items, they do price check. So just please check out the forums and know your stuff before going in to the French chat. Now PC101 uses a method of price checking that I call price range. That means that when you ask for a price, they will give you the price, one price, and then a dash, and then the next price. See here, this guy gives me the price check for ACB, which if you went to the forums you would know stands for Armadil Crossbow, 7.9 to 8.4. So that means if I'm flipping it, I would buy it at 7.9 and sell it at 8.4. Sometimes some of the price checker, the person who gives prices, will give them to you in a different format. So instead of saying 7.9 to 8.4, they would say they would say they would just put 7.9 to 0.4, and then you would just have to guess that since obviously the flipping margins would be positive, it's to 8.4 and not 0.4. And that is all for PC 101. All right, so the next French chat I'll show you guys is called Nex and SS. As you can see here, it's a little bit more busy than PC 101, and I had to try for a couple times before getting in. Don't worry, just keep going, and sometimes if it's really full, you'll get a message that says, you have been temporarily banned from joining French chats, please try again later. So just do what it says and try in like five minutes, I think it is. And so as you probably can tell by the name of the French chat, it price checks Nex items and spirit shields. That's what SS stands for. So when they give you a price for a spirit shield, it's for the shield and not the sigil, or sigil, or however you want to pronounce that. So like before, you can find all the rules and um, other things and the items that they price check on the forums. Just go to the description and I'll, you'll have a link or go to the RuneScape and navigate your way to the forum from there. They also use the method of price checking that I call price range. But sometimes <coughs> there is not going to be a price checker. This is more, there's more often not a price checker in this than there is in PC 101. So um, as you can see right here, there is people asking for price checks and there's no price checker. So if you realize that there's no price checker, don't keep spamming for a price check. So um, when there is a price checker though, they will, they will use the price range um, price checking method. But um, sometimes if they don't have a um, price, they will use the exact both prices. If they don't, sometimes if they don't have both prices, they'll use the less than sign or the plus symbol. So less than, obviously, means that it's less than whatever price that they give you. And so if they gave me like Torva Plate Body, this is a complete made up number, I have no idea what Torva Plate Body costs, for 200, or less than 250. So that means that right now the last price update they've been given was a non-instant sell for 250. So you're going to want to buy for less than 250 and sell for 250. And the plus is just the opposite, the last update they've been given for that item was a non-instant buy for that or an instant sell for that. So you're just going to want to buy for that price and then sell for however much money you think you can make on a certain item. I'm not going to get into margins on this video really um, because that's maybe for a different video. Personally, for um, some personal notes on this one, I don't really like to flip the items with a less than symbol because usually that means that it's a somewhat outdated price check and also it's just it's not really the complete margin I don't like messing around with things like that and to be honest um, right now as of February 8th um, you if you have enough money to be flipping next items I would really recommend flipping dry gore instead because it just costs less money than most next items and you can get more money from the margins Okay, so now the next French chat is going to be R Quark. It's just R space Q U A R K. Usually, I have a very hard time getting into this S um, FC because it's usually full. But as you can see here, I got in on my first try. That's not that common. It's actually pretty rare. Huh? 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 Okay. So anyway, um, the this French chat price checks all of the rares. The besides um, fish mask and Christmas tree hat. So they use the system of price checking 
call that I call B and S. This is in not price range, so be careful. Um, so as you can see, they gave gave the price check for white party hat of two thousand and seventy six S. So that is the S price and of the B and S price. So an S price means it, the the um, last update that they've been given was a non-instant buy or an instant sell. So that's a sell S, that's what it, it's derived from. So that means that if I was flipping, I buy for the S price, and as you might have guessed, the B price is the last update for a non-instant sell or instant buy, the buy meaning the B, and I would sell for the B price. So just remember, when flipping, they're not meaning 127 bill, they mean 127 B. So when you're flipping, Buy for the S price, sell for the B price. It's pretty straightforward once you understand it. Personally, I never flip in this FC. I just use it to get pri the price for the Santa hat. Every once in a while, I just come in here and ask for the Santa PC. And sometimes they give it to me. They, on they don't really have a price checker. They just have people that sometimes run lists, like a party hat list maybe. So don't expect a price check at all times whatsoever. So I also don't flip here because they always have relatively small margins. The biggest margin I've ever seen on a non-party hat item was like one mil and that was for like it's, it takes a long time to flip and they're not really worth it to me and they're like a hundred K margins which is not that good. But in case you've already flipped everything else you can possibly flip that's more than that I guess you could flip here. So also, when they give price checks, they're going to give it lowers. That consists of the Santa and the um, Halloween masks. Halloween mask going um, green Halloween mask, blue Halloween mask, and red Halloween mask, then Santa hat. Um, y you can find all this on the forums, and you can also find the orders of the other lists on the forums. I don't use the other lists, so I'm not sure. But yeah, that is all for Arc Work. Okay, so... For the next French chat, I have Drygore PCs. Um, you probably know how to spell Drygore if you know anything, if, if you're going to be flipping in here, but in case you don't, it's D-R-Y-G-O-R-E space P-C-S. So this one, I pretty much always get in on um, my first try, but sometimes I randomly, it's like really full for some reason, but that usually doesn't happen. So this French chat, as you probably have guessed, PCs all of the dry gore weapons, main hand and off hand. So they use the terminology OH for off hand and MH for main hand. They also use the B and S system like Arc Work. Personally, I really like this French chat. It's probably my favorite French chat out of all the French chats. Um, so the fact that they use the B and S system is really good for me because. Um, because it's just um, best for margins because if people don't know all the whole margin they're less likely to pro to flip it and that means bigger margins and bigger margins is more money and more money is better so i usually only flip the offhand weapons because i found that they some they usually have the same margins around the same margins that you can get for main hands and they take a lot less money so you can flip two at once maybe for me and I also started with the offhands because when it first came out, I didn't have enough money to flip the the um, the main hands. But now that they've crashed a little, I can actually flip the main hands, but I've just never gotten into it. I've only flipped the main hands once or twice. So the um, offhands that I, I flip, they usually have a margin of around 1 to 4 mil. 4 mil is being... If you get lucky, maybe buy it right before it rises. So if they give me the B price, a lot of people um, like the S price, so there's bigger margins because, you know, as I said earlier, less people flipping, more margin, uh, bigger margins. Um, that's why really uncommonly traded items you can get a big um, flip margin on. But unfortunately, they don't buy very quickly, and so I like Drager because it's like just in the middle. So I like flipping items with a B price. I usually buy around four mil underneath the B price, maybe three, and then I sell it for around a two or three mil profit. So 
I would, in this French chat, I would be very careful of manipulators. Um, they call them manipers. Manip, short for manipulation. They will give fake prices. So, say there is a, a old price check for maybe the main hand mace, and so someone that has a main hand mace would that says, "I want to, I want to maybe sell this quicker." And so they'll give a fake price that encourages people to maybe buy it for a higher price, so that he will sell his mace faster. So be very caref careful of people giving fake prices. Make sure if they're ranked in the French chat before trusting their price. It's a lot bigger um, problem in this French chat than the other ones because of the fact that Draegor weapons are relatively new and therefore it's easier to man up with the unstable prices. Also be careful of this in the other French chat, but it's just not as big of a problem in the other ones. Now, the last French chat I will be showing you guys in this video is called SOF Rares PC. It's just SOF space Rares space PC. So, it obviously, it price checks the rares that come from the Squeal of Fortune, and those are Christmas Tree Hat and Fish Mask. So, I will almost guarantee you 100% you will get into this on your first try. As you can see, there's like 20 people in here, maybe 15 or something. Um, so it's not a very popular French chat because it only has two items, and I think there's might be more than one French chat for this. This is just the one I've heard of. So it doesn't really have a price checker since there's only two items, and they usually don't have too accurate of prices. But then again, the items that they price check don't usually have massive margins, so not a lot of people are flipping them. So I just come in here because I have a Christmas tree hat, and I want to know if it's rising or falling. Maybe if it's crashing really hard, I, I'll sell it. So, um, don't j by all means, do not expect them to be having a price checker or have a price check for the item, recent price check for the item you want at all times. All right, guys, that's all for this video. Please, um, again, look in the description for all of the um, links to the f different forum pages. I'm not sure if um, Squeal of Fortune Rares PC has one. I'll put that in the description if they do though. Also in the description you can find the different times that each French chat starts at if you want to go back and watch one again. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd really appreciate it if you like it. It took me a long time to make, longer than you would think probably. And until next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye.